Okay, so here we've got a couple patterns we'll work on for the bass guitar. Uh, I'm playing a five string and a perspective a little backwards from the, the camera angle. But we're going to be working on some walking patterns uh, between and kind of staying in in a one position for G. So we'll start off here on our G, uh, which is going to be third fret, fourth string. I'll play the pattern through it in real time and then I'll slow it down. What this basically does is it just, when a song is, is kind of camping out in the one position, instead of just going or the famous, it lets you kind of be a little bit busier without taking away from the solo. So um, you start off with your G, your third fret, fourth string. You're going to play the B note, which is going to be your second fret, third string. Slide up to C, slide up to C sharp or D flat up to D major. So it's so that's your first five notes of that pattern. Then what I like to do is hit my open fourth string, go to first fret, second fret, third fret to stay back at G. So again it's You can repeat that as many times as you want to. The second part of it is that you can go low if you want to. So if you hit your B here, you get your open B. Good thing about bass playing is that it's it's all pattern driven, so you can do your your notes just like this in the scale. So you want to go higher, just grab your E down here on your second string. And the pattern stays the same between your octaves. You can also do this. Because you got enough G up here. And the fret. Another variation of this is if you're transitioning from a 1 to a 4, in this case G to C, you do this. You got your 3rd fret, 4th string, open 3rd string, and 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. So. playing a slower bluesier song you can do a lick like this starting off again at G just for the sake of uh, explanation and simplicity you transition to the four This one is you're gonna go. You're hitting, just hitting the, the your G note at your third fret, fourth string. Then you're gonna play third fret again, but it's your third string. And you're gonna hammer on. Then you're gonna hit your F note down here, which is gonna be your second string. 3rd fret, hammer on, and back to the D, which is your 5th fret, 3rd string, to G. Hopefully these licks make some sense to you and will enhance your uh, playing when you're mostly in a 1 position or you're kind of Kind of walking back and forth in some of our fast Pentecostal songs. Hope you enjoy.